Hello everybody out there in YouTube and Facebook. This is Chris Nicholson and right now I'm showing you what I got from a thrift store for $80. This over here is an 88 w fully weighted keyboard controller by CME. The model number of it is the UF8. Now, not only has fully 88 hammer action keys, the reason I got it for $80, I mean look at it, it's in mint condition. Not a scratch on it. I couldn't believe it when I saw the price of it. Um, but the reason I got it is because CME controllers, they have an tendency of the keys sticking. So you could press a key and it will not go right back up. So what I did is I went on YouTube. Thanks for YouTube these days. It's unbelievable. And I got instructions from a guy who actually took one of these apart. And he said that basically you could take the whole keyboard action apart, take out the hammers, soak the hammers, not not just soak, but you can um, run them underneath hot water. So I did more than that. I ran them underneath scolding hot water, which I thought I was going to melt the plastic or whatever. Um, I put Dawn dishwashing liquid, and I soaked them in scolding hot water for two hours straight. Then, after that, I took it, I dried it off, and I wiggled the hammers back and forth, and I put it back underneath scolding hot water, again with Dawn dishwashing liquid, for another two hours. So, all the keys are up. So that was the only problem with this keyboard. Um, a keyboard controller doesn't have sound, so what I'm doing is that I'm using my Casio MZ2000 as a sound module, which is one of the really cool sound modules. Now, I'm going to do another video on this later on because there's a lot of features which I'm going to change on it. Like the floppy disk drive, I'm going to make that USB, and I'm going to make a whole new section of styles just for this because there's not many style or there's not many stuff on the internet for this keyboard because it's a rare keyboard but that's going to be in another video um okay getting back to the cme is that you have a pitchman modulation wheel you have sequencing control you have sliders and faders over here and also you have um different kind of filter um positions so you get a volume different eight sliders over here and this is going to be your main so your main um volume over here um you have Cutoff, Residence, Attack, Release, Pan, Reverb, Chorus, Tempo. Tempo's for your uh, sequence and control. And over here, this is your um, your parameter area. So you have the draw bars for your sliders. You have the velocity curve, also for your sliders or your little wheel right over here. Um, you have aftertouch, program change. You have um, transposition, octave, channel, split, dual. You can reset the parameters right over here. You can either have this on GS mode or XG. So it's good for Yamaha and or General MIDI. Um, it's good for Yamaha or Roland. Uh, and over here, this is all notes off. I got to see what that feature is. And look at this. On a keyboard controller, it has a demo. I never heard of a demo on a keyboard controller. And this over here is you can set to default. And this is your um, your jog wheel. Um, okay, so I am going to put this on a stand. As I said, all the sounds are coming out of my um, MZ2000. So I'm going to put this on a stand, and I haven't tried this keyboard out, and I'm going to play it right now for you guys. So I have my iPad, sorry, my iPhone on, I hope nobody calls me, but I have my iPhone on a tripod stand, and here we go. This is um, trying out all the keys. On here. Yes, I fixed it. It works. It works perfectly. change the instruments the programs but I gotta figure out how to work it so I'm doing a little more research on it um, okay so we got that working which is really cool um, let me see here how does the demo sound um, even though this is a keyboard controller and it doesn't have sounds on it so here we go I'm gonna press the two keys and 
Let's see what the demo does. Oh my god. With the sequence of control, I can stop it from right there. Let's see if I can play it back. Probably not. I have to press the demo again. Amazing. I never heard a demo song come out of a controller. I don't know if the new controllers have it. This is actually... Um, I had keyboard controllers in the past, but they didn't have a demo. But this is one of my... Um, this is the first 88 key uh, keyboard controller that I ever had. Because um, the reason I bought this, I bought this for my iPad. I have two iPads. And um, this is something that if I don't want to take too much stuff, if I'm, if I'm in a band and I have to leave a keyboard somewhere, this is the keyboard that I'll leave and I'll just use my iPad uh, to go back and forth for anything. So this is my, um, this is going to be my new gigging keyboard, as in for bands. But I say that because I have that one right there. And I have this one over here. Um, this one is the SP280, um, and this one over here <laughs> that's in here for gigging, this is the uh, Yamaha DGX650. Um, <laughs> I got so much stuff for gigging. Right in this green cloth over here, this is a Viacount Digital Grand Piano. Uh, it has a whole bunch of teddy bears on it, and also the SP280 is um, covering it. But you can see it right over here. It's a black high polish um, Digital Grand, which I made a video of that already. Here's another one that I gig out with. Um, this over here, this is my K. Nicholson um, White Digital Grand Piano. I call it the KMN1. And this also has LED lights, so it lights up. And what I recently got, I can show you. I'm going to do a separate video about this too. This is a Korg Digital Grand Piano. So I have three Digital Grand Pianos. And... Um, this one I got real cheap. I got it so cheap it's unbelievable. I'm not going to even tell you the price. But it closes up. And it kind of looks like a regular grand piano. So I'm going to use, you know, I, I definitely classify my gigs in different stages of which pianos do I use. Um, if they request an upright, I, my house is full filled with pianos. So I have, I have uprights. Organs. <laughs> There's more pianos here. There's more pianos in the room, but if they request an upright, I either take um, this Yamaha P P22 black satin, or this Baldwin Hamilton. So these are easy to move. You don't need a dolly or anything like that. So if they request an upright, I got those two. But yeah, this is my new Korg. This is a concert. C50G, and this is a very rare model because Korg don't make digital grand pianos anymore. And this is a full wood cabinet. It's unbelievable. So, let's get back to the CME. So you got a house full of pianos. Plus a piano in my bedroom. And there's a lot of keyboards. But, not bad for 80 bucks, right? So this is what I have. Thank you very much, YouTube, for, um, and Facebook. For joining me on this little quest of the CME. And I'm going to look up more stuff about it. And um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll see ya. Thank you very much.